is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Slap Train. How would you guys like a chance to win a trip to Puerto Rico? Let me show you guys how it might look. Need some fun in the sun? How does an all expense paid trip to Puerto Rico sound? How about we add two tickets to the Wusini Yandel concert? Enjoy the food, beaches, nightlife, and this amazing concert live at El Coliseo de Puerto Rico on December 22nd. Now, that was actually from a channel called Undos Tres. They said it's awesome contests, they have some cool shows and Latino comics, hot music videos. And as you can see, beautiful women. Now the scoop on Puerto Rico, you don't have to buy anything. All you have to do is click here, look in the video for a contest link, and read the rules and subscribe to Own Those Trays. Good luck, everybody. going on everybody it's your boy to slap train um today actually we are bringing you something completely different that i have not done before i know yes i'm doing picture in picture i understand that um but one thing that actually you have not seen is this style setup that i'm running now um as you guys can tell the car is very wobbly and um the thing pretty much will sway either direction it almost looks like it's going to flip over now that is probably the funnest way to drift for me honestly i've been drifting a lot of static cars and they don't really seem to have any um suspension movement on them because they're very stiff and they hold the line very well now drifting these cars um to be honest is actually a lot more fun to me than drifting regular style cars like my mustang and stuff like that now too so what I want to do is um, make a little bit of a series with these guys and I actually have um, a tandem video with one of my buddies. We're both repping junker cars. Um, we got like a Camaro and something like that and we are wobbling like crazy. And we actually pull off some really nice tandems now. Um, I will be uploading that in the future. Um, what I do want to focus on is getting back into the commentaries. I've been posting a lot of Call of Duty and a lot of uh, I guess montage style gameplays which I do love doing. I really miss those montages that I used to do from back in the day with my earlier in the channel. Um, I used to do a lot of these montages and I think that's where really a lot of my roots came from these videos and I just kind of filled in with the editing and then I got into the commentary. So um, I do want to start doing these a lot more and um, I really do enjoy this style setup and I actually have done it on a lot of other cars. So, if you guys want to run this crazy setup where I actually think it actually gets more angle than a regular setup to be completely honest um, and sometimes I can actually hold it a little bit better as well too so essentially what you're gonna to want to do put your tire pressure to 28 on both sides I mean on both front and rear and your suspension is gonna be completely soft everywhere that you can put it it's gonna be soft so your, your, your shocks your struts all that your camera is gonna be negative 5 in the front you're gonna leave your rears and your caster is gonna be 5.7 and your ride height is gonna be all the way up and your differential is gonna be 100 for both front and rear. Now, as I said, this is a very crazy setup. I don't know how it's gonna be without a wheel. Um, I, I mean, as I said, my buddy dressed it with his controller and he's saying, and he's and he thinks it's fine so you guys shouldn't have a problem with it um, it makes it for a lot of fun drifting and sometimes it actually flipped the car mid drift which makes it uh, very crazy because you never really know when it's gonna fully flip over and just let it go you know what I mean so it does make a lot of added fun to the game and um, I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this setup I haven't really seen anyone else use this style setup for drifting and as I said I can actually hold some really sick angle and um i mean it just i mean it looks hilarious when you're using it i mean like look at this thing if you're looking at it from say uh a bro tacos view he's looking at this car just wondering what the hell is going on and if you actually run this in a i mean in a public lobby kids are going to probably either one of two things one think you're a complete nub and so you start getting on their door and they're going to be like oh damn this guy actually needs business what's up with the setup or two they're just going to boot you before you even get into the damn lobby um I mean, it depends on all what what car you put it on, right? So I mean, a car like this, the Buick Regal, it's not really a big drifting car to use. Um, but I mean, people love it though. I mean, 
they, they probably wouldn't. I mean, I would like to do some public style lobbies um, and maybe do a live com on it because I know a lot of kids get butthurt in these live comms and I'd really like to start doing them on Forza where I can actually record. Now, right there, I swear to God, I did not mean to hit him on purpose. Um, I wasn't really paying attention and I just kind of plowed into him. But um, I would like to start doing these live comms a lot more um, in a public style lobby because, as I said, kids get butt hurt real quick if you even nudge them on point strips. And I, I mean, I understand that. That's fine. But honestly, these kids get to the point where they just keep hitting you and hitting you and they get real cheese. They start yelling at you and this and that. And I would love to be able to actually capture that and uh, get these kids freaking out on the mic and maybe do some trolling videos. Not, not actually purposely drifting into them but just in terms of maybe tapping them on the door maybe one one tandem run and they get upset with me and stuff like that and just just stuff like that i'd like to maybe get and um honestly i think it would be hilarious to see just because the fact that uh these kids take their drifting very seriously i mean do not touch them while they're drifting i swear to god they'll be going nuts but um yeah so a few things that i have been doing on my channel is a little bit new the call of duty series um now, as I said, I'm not going away from Forza. This is not something that I'm going to be transitioning into Call of Duty. It's not going to be like that at all. The only thing I'm going to be posting is my online gameplay from my buddy BC Notify, which is actually ranked number one for the Black Ops 2 game battle leaderboard. So I'm going to be bringing you some of his videos. Um, and also, too, I want to start bringing you guys some live comm on zombies. Now, for the campaign wise, I'm not going to really touch that anymore just because of the fact it didn't really go over well. And honestly, I don't like posting gameplay where I can't really commentate over it. So I'm just going to stop the gameplay for the campaigns. I'm going to just close the book on it. I'm sorry for those of you who actually do want it. Uh, I think it was about, a, about maybe an average about 100 views a video. And honestly, I mean, that's great and everything, but for the fact that it's a 15 minute video, you know what I mean? Like, just dull gameplay that's all it is it's just campaign and that's about it so i'm not gonna really worry about that i thought it was gonna explode the first two videos but it didn't so i'm gonna just cut it off and uh just cut the fat you know what i'm saying but um i would like to continue going forward with my edits on the fajini mountain and, uh, and also other stuff too i'm gonna be working on another one with my boy Sil lady swag um so keep a lookout for that i will be doing that very soon probably next week mid It'll be out, um, it'll be a tandem video for uh, all you guys that love tandems and stuff like that, which I mean, really, who doesn't love tandems, you know what I'm saying? But um, I would like to continue going forward, making those edits, and also doing these commentaries, doing the live comms, doing the wheels, um, and also too, I would like to, uh, actually, I'm going to start uploading my subscriber videos, because honestly, with the Fujimi Mountain Challenge that I gave out to you guys, I cannot believe how many people sent me a replay honestly i couldn't believe it and the people that did thank you very much for sending it to me um i will be posting a full leaderboard uh for that challenge and anybody else who wants to take on the challenge by all means take on the challenge the challenge is run the whole fujimi mountain start to finish the full circuit without losing your drift so without crashing um without hitting the wall anything and um if you guys can do that and get a decent score, uh, the holder right now is only one video in, 71,000, but I assure you guys to keep watching this series because it's going to get real intense real quick and we're going to have some crazy looter boards happening. So definitely keep a lock on the channel for the subscriber challenge and if you guys have any videos that you want to actually include into the subscriber challenge, you can either A, upload them to YouTube for me. I will. I will then copy the link and download them for my channel or also message me on Xbox saying you have a So You Think You Can Drip video for the mount. Thank you guys very much for watching. It's your boy Slap Train. Till next video, I'm out. Peace.